So let's, let us, let's go ahead and move on to our next game on that note. And, of course, the second game of the weekend we know is the three-seeded Chiefs versus the one-seeded Baltimore Ravens. Um, you know, I'm going to let you guys go first on this one because I have a lot of thoughts and I want to try to organize them. So, Anthony, we'll start with you. Chiefs, Ravens this weekend. What do you got? Hmm. This is a this is a tough pick. As we talked about maybe not 15 minutes ago, the Chiefs have seen this story before six times in the last six years. Um, the Ravens have been conspicuously close enough to smell it. Like when you can tell that you're reaching the corn dog stand when you're at the fair because it's starting to get in your nostrils and it's like, if you put two down here and then hang a left, it's right over here. Um, I think the thing with the Chiefs is that the thing with the Chiefs is is that they're going to have to uh, they're going to have to be prepared for anything because Lamar has gotten to the point now where uh, Lamar Lamar has gotten to the point where when he gets settled in a game he will take whatever the defense will he will take whatever Kansas City's defense will give him. To work with as far as what you know, he can stop and pick his targets and he can look and go, Oh, they just rushed six guys and the other five are 10 yards downfield. I'm gonna run this myself. So the Chiefs have got to be prepared for both of those scenarios. Um it's gonna be a tough one for me. I think this one is going to be an, another great game. I know we use the term shootout a lot. I think it's going to be a shootout. And I think that uh, I'm going to say this. I think that the Ravens are going to be the ones to upset the apple cart, uh, upset the apple cart and get into the Super Bowl um, over the Chiefs of Kansas no City. Fair enough, my friend. Delilah, how about you? Nine points. I'm going to say nine I, by nine oh, points. Okay. And Anthony's got a nine point victory. For, there you go. All right, Delilah, how about you? I'm going to go with Baltimore only because their defense is better. Their defense will actually do what the Bills' defense couldn't do. They are going to go after Patrick Mahomes. They're going to knock him on his butt. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually get a couple sacks. They're going to bat stuff away. Like, And I know that the Kansas City O-line is good. I'm not saying that. What I mean is that the Ravens' defense – is also going to punch through that line. They're going to pressure. They got big guys who go out, you know, their fullback, what's his name, who can, like, block and, like, oh, what's his name on the – anyway, but you know what I mean. So all I know is that Baltimore had the best defense all season. Do you know, like, they led in multiple categories? Like, I mean, lights out defense. And so that's where I think it's going to be a difference for Kansas City where – the Bills didn't do that. They didn't. They didn't do that. Like their defense. I'm not saying that their Bills defense was a slouch, but that wasn't this Ravens defense. And so I think that's going to be the big difference um, in this game. And that's why I'm picking the Ravens to beat the Chiefs. It's because they're going to like actually pressure Mahomes, and he doesn't like that. When you pressure him, that's when actually he starts making mistakes, and that's when you can beat him because that's what Burroughs did. That's what Cincinnati did the time they beat them and moved on to the Super Bowl. Is their defense pressured him and kept pushing at him and knocking him down and and also like you know covering the right people they're supposed to. Um, we talk about like the only like Isaiah Pacheco. They're gonna be all over him because that guy has been good all playoffs. He's been stellar. That guy's mean. He's been like you know, and so I think that's what the difference will be, and that's why I'm going with. Uh, the Ravens. Okay, fair enough. Tina, how about you? What do you got for this weekend? Well, we all know I'm rooting for the Ravens. That's just yes. a given right well, there. I'm not sure. going to eat. Um, But the Chiefs defense has got some issues in there because both Mike Edwards and Willie Gay, Willie Gay came out of the game. And Willie yeah. Gay is kind of the person that's lining up on the on the other side and telling people where to go. Like you, you go, need yeah. him. Uh, Trent McDuffie was banged out, but he came back in. Um, let's see. There. Oh, offensive line. We're talking about the offensive line. Um, Delilah. Joe Thune came out with a pectoral injury on the game, okay. and he's okay. still listed on the on the injury, injury report. So that'll okay. that'll be interesting. Um, Let's see. 
I saw something in here. Um, okay. Um, Edwards, the reason why he's an interest, he's he's one of the linebackers that came out in, in, in the in the game. He's still under concussion protocol. So oh, okay. he's got to clear that in order to go back into the game. Um, right. And then also Pacheco cleared concussion protocol too. So he'll okay. be back in, but Morris is taking time. I mean, the chiefs are beat up and yeah. they they were coming together, but they definitely have some issues, but I agree with everything that Delilah was saying. And um, as I was given information via a lovely producer, too, what he said <laughs> is Todd Monken, <laughs> the Ravens OC, has been a huge help for Lamar. Yeah. He's oh, been sure. able to help yeah. Lamar balancing and keeping the team yeah. balanced and working through all that. And that was that. And I agree with that. That was the one thing that Sean also said is Lamar is at the point where he's letting the defense tell him what they're going to do and he he can go somewhere else so right. i think he's isn't the only reason yes it takes players it takes everybody else nathan yes i completely agree with that huh i don't know the team as well as you do so i'm going to always be on the side of caution with that um <laughs> he's good I and i think he's hungry he is hungry to prove a point. The Ravens are hungry to prove a yeah, point. So, 100%. I don't think this. I think this is going to be a close game. That's in my opinion. Yeah. So we'll For see sure. what happens. So, yeah. Todd Munkin was a good addition. I have no idea where he came from. Do y'all remember where he came from? He got came from some college team somewhere, Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. was it Georgia? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, somewhere in the south maybe i don't know yeah, yeah. what somewhere down there where the somewhere in between Might florida and south dog. carolina yeah, yeah right like some kind of dog was involved right oh, yeah. oh my god <laughs> you know what i one of the things i want to really want to look for because if you guys remember just over the course of this year that offensive line was heavily penalized a lot of false starts a lot you know a lot of Things like, and I'm telling you, if Baltimore can put the pressure, you might see a lot mm -hmm. of penalties from that offensive line of the Chiefs, and I think that's going to be one of the keys mm -hmm. to this game. Because mm -hmm. Delilah talked about, oh, the Kansas City offensive line played really good last game. No pressure, no pressure yeah. from Buffalo. No pressure at all. Your offensive line looked really good, didn't it? All of a sudden, mm -hmm. you get that pressure coming, yep. and my boy Taylor on the right side may be offside more than you that's know, right. or you know, false starting mm -hmm. more than you know. So I'm just saying. I There's agree. a lot there just in that in that kind of matchup alone with that mm -hmm. offensive line and the defensive rush of Baltimore that I definitely will be looking for in this game Absolutely. because I really feel like Baltimore can bring the pressure. And that's oh, yeah. one of the keys for me to this game. And Because I'm picking the Ravens as well. I just really feel like this is the <laughs> – there we go. Oh, and Nate threw in the Swifties too. Wow. Nate's going for it all, baby. His Ravens are in it. He's in it to win it. He's coming for everyone. Don't tell Nate anything because he's coming for you. No, but yeah, I, I'm picking the Ravens as well because I really just feel like, and a, a lot of what all you guys have said as well, I, I really just feel like they know they have something to prove. Lamar is probably going to will this team to a victory, even though I know Patrick will try to do the same thing on the opposite side. Oh, yeah. I really do feel like this is the Ravens' chance to really get that you know, the proverbial monkey off the back, as they say, to to really just move forward and have people go, hey, wow, this Baltimore team is for real. So I am picking the Ravens as well in this one.